Omar, obviously had a chat there when you first arrived. How are you settling into life at Hartlepool now? Yeah, very good. Yeah, um, obviously, last time we spoke, I just, I just kind of, I'd only been here probably like a week or two. Like we're six weeks in now, and it's been, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, loads, enjoying playing, and enjoying being around the boys. It must help when you're getting games and getting goals as well to settle in just that much quicker. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's the main thing for me. You know, coming in was obviously to play the games. And, you know, as a striker, when you start scoring goals straight away, it's it helps your confidence. You know what I mean, it helps you settle in, and it, you know, it just it builds like the atmosphere for yourself and around the players. You know, and around the club. So yeah, it's been good. And are you fully moved up now? I know you're saying you're bringing your misses up and, yeah. and all that. So is, what's that been like? Trying to play as many games as you have been yeah. and move house and sort of uproot your life back up this way. Well, we haven't moved yet. We've just been obviously looking at places and, like you said, because of the games and stuff, it's been hard to, you know, to do both at the same time. And in all fairness, when we have got the days off, I, I'd rather <laughs> stay at home too fair than actually come up. So it's been hard. But you know, when obviously the game settle down and towards the end of the season, we'll, you know, we're definitely looking to move up. Is that is that normal for you to settle so quickly? Because it does seem like you've really taken to it, and it's just water off a duck's back, and you've you've settled in so quickly. So is it normal for you when you move clubs to to hit the ground running as you have done? Um, I think it just depends on you know the environment I'm going into, really. Um, and you know, listen, for strikers, it's it can be hit or miss. You know I mean, that doesn't matter who you are, how good you are. Sometimes you can go somewhere and it doesn't click straight away, and sometimes it clicks straight away and you're flying. Do you know what I mean? Um, but you know, obviously, it's always better when you know you start scoring straight away, and actually, it helps you as a as a player, as a striker, when you're scoring goals and doing your job. And when you're picking up awards as well, PFA Player of the Month for February. How much do you uh, acknowledge the acknowledgements, if you know what I mean? How how much do you pay attention to those kind of things? Does it matter to you as a player? Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, accolades, you know, personal, you know, and, and as a collective, you know, that's why I'm in the game. You know, I mean, it's a good to obviously get the recognition for. You know the good work that I've I've done, but ultimately, you know, with the players I've you know I have around me, I'm always getting opportunities and chances to score. And obviously, since I've come in, the team's been great. Do you know what I mean? I don't because I don't really have much knowledge of how the team was before I came, before January. But since I've been here, you know, what I mean, the team's been great, and you can see that in terms of the performances and the results that we picked up. How much adapting have you had to do in terms of the way that you play? Because coming down from League One to League Two, has it has there been much of a an adaption that you've had to to make in your game at all do you feel not really no because I, I think obviously before last season so I was, I was obviously playing the championship for obviously mm. you know four or five years and then you come down to league one and I'll be honest there's not much difference from league one to league two anyway do you know what I mean naturally as you go up the levels you come down you know there's always like that little bit of difference in terms of quality but there's not that much difference overall if any to be honest between league two and league one and what about adapting to game time because you went from Oof. Doncaster <laughs> you went from Doncaster uh. where you had you, <laughs> yeah. you sort of like had to bide your time and you had to you, you weren't getting a lot of games yeah. uh, for for one reason and many reasons mm -hmm. then you come here you're playing Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday so yeah. what's that been like adapting to that um yeah that, yeah that that, I think, you know, that has been the hardest part for me um obviously coming off the back of not playing at all for like you know half a season and then mm -hmm. coming in and playing so many games um I'll be honest I think this week Coming into this week, probably the first time I haven't felt anything. Right. I've just been feeling niggles and this and there's that. You know what I mean? That you kind of manage and you play with. And obviously the gaffer, you know, he tried to manage me as well. You know, I didn't start against uh, Bradford. Um, he tried to manage my, my minutes because you know they can see that, yeah, especially with numbers as well on the GPS. They can see obviously the workload that I'm doing, so they don't want me to get injured. So that's been the, that's been the most difficult thing, just managing like the niggles that you get. You know what I mean? While your body gets used to playing playing 90 minutes every game again. And, and what about the the feeling around the the team and the dressing room at the minute? Because doing well away from home, picking up results, picking up wins, mm -hmm. and you know, a few people looking up the top end of the table and just saying, "Oh, what if? Maybe?" You know, not, mm -hmm. it's not too far off. There must be a really nice feel and a nice togetherness around this squad at the minute. Yeah, one hundred percent. And uh, we look, you know, we, we've actually had a good period and a good run of results, and now we're looking up. And I think now what I've what I've felt since I've been here, like I said, like, I don't know what it was like before, mm -hmm. you know, January and stuff, but since I've been here, I, I've seen the difference in terms of uh, the team and the players realising how good they are and good we are and how good we can be. I think that's the difference I've seen, you know what I mean? When I, come, when I first came in, you can kind of tell that, you know, a bit wary and, mm -hmm. you know I mean, people probably playing within themselves a bit, but you can see. Like over the last few last few weeks, the teams obviously really obviously opened up and expressed themselves, and I, and I still don't think that we've hit 
But I know that we haven't hit as a team, you know, our top form yet, no way. Northampton Town next, a team that's right up there, uh, similar to, to Newport, fighting yeah. for, for yeah. promotion. Uh, it's another, another big challenge, but one I'm sure that you're all uh, looking forward to going and getting another upset. Yeah, for sure. I mean, now we're going into every game now and, you know, respectfully to the teams up there, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to every game knowing that we can win the game. You know what I mean? We don't go in there, fair, you know, with anything mm -hmm. fair. We went to play Newport, we know they're a good side, a very good team. Um, but we never went into the game thinking anything other than we want to win the game with three points. And it'll be, it'll be the same, you know, um, tomorrow. But obviously it'll be a hard test, so we've got to be ready for it.